and welcome to another episode of Buncom Weekly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know all about upcoming county-sponsored events. Now, just to let you know, everything I mention in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. You can also catch this show and any of our original programming whenever you like by visiting buncombecounty.org slash bctv. Finally, if you subscribe to our award-winning online magazine, Buncombe Ezine, from our homepage, you can get great county information sent to your inbox every week. Well, it's August, which means school is almost back in session, and it also means that the Buncombe County Outdoor Pools will be closing soon. Cane Creek Pool's last day will be Sunday, August 11th. Hominy Valley Pool, North Buncombe Pool, and Owen Pool will be closing on Sunday, August 18th. Finally, Irwin Pool will close on weekdays as of Sunday, August 18th, but will remain open on weekends through Labor Day. Pool hours are Monday through Friday from noon to 5.45 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 6.45 p.m., and Sundays from 1 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. Admission is just $3 per visit, with discount passes available at all pool locations. For more information, contact Terry Gentile at 828-684-5072 or email terry.gentile at buncombecounty.org. And if you love to swim, you're not just limited to pools. Riverlink of Buncombe County is hosting their 14th River Festival with fun activities for the whole family. It will take place on Saturday, August 10th from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at French Broad River Park. The festival will feature crafts, kid fun, a raft race, music, and more. The popular raft race will feature an Anything That Floats theme, where previous entrants have raced down the river in anything your imagination can come up with. So come on out and celebrate Western North Carolina's most underutilized asset, the French Broad River. For more information, you can contact Riverlink at 828-252-8474 or email information at riverlink.org. Well, with all the rain we've been having lately, it seems like the mosquito population of Buncombe County is at an all-time high. Well, the Buncombe County Health and Human Services Department, along with some local Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, have a very important message for you on how to get rid of these pesky neighbors. We are the Girl Scouts of 71537. And the Boy Scouts Troop 76 in Buncombe County, North Carolina. And we are here to bring you an important message. Did you know that the more it rains, the more mosquitoes we have? Mosquito bites are itchy. They can also make you sick. Mosquitoes don't travel very far. If they were in your yard, they were probably born there. Mosquitoes can breed in very small amounts of water. Stop you on two easy steps. Tip and toss. Tip and toss. Tip and toss. Tip and toss. Standing water every three or four days. Like in bird bath. Plastic swimming pools. Old tigers. Flower pots. Dog bones. Even bottle caps. So take small steps and make suspect big things. Tip and toss to keep you, your family, and your neighborhood mosquito free. For more information, visit BuncombeCounty.org. No bites. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable cats and dogs like this guy who are in need of a good home. Now, when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. Asheville Humane Society is dedicated to the compassionate treatment of animals through education, sheltering, and adoption. Come visit the Asheville Humane Society Adoption Center located at 14 Forever Friend Lane, just south of the Farmer's Market, to visit all the wonderful animals available for adoption just like this one. Maya and Minette are two playful, spunky female kittens. At nine weeks old, they are already very adventurous. Patches is a great guy. He had a rough start, but is on the road to recovery. He is a five-year-old male Cocker Spaniel. 
Adelaide is a mature, calm, loving, eight-year-old female cat with unique markings. Addison is a two-year-old male Manchester Terrier mix. He is full of spunk and needs an active home. Dexter is a handsome young man. He is a five-month-old male cat looking for a family. Ruger is a shy fella. He is a five-year-old chocolate lab who needs a patient and experienced family to help guide him through life's challenges. Leopold is a seven-year-old orange tabby cat who likes to lounge around and watch his surroundings. Peanut is a fun-loving, active hound dog. She is about a year and a half old and just a really fun dog. Desi is an active, playful two-year-old female cat. Macintosh and Mackinac are two beautiful four-month-old husky mix puppies that are just full of life and looking for families to teach them. To reach the Asheville Humane Society Adoption Center, call 828-761-2001, or to view all of our available animals for adoption, go to our website at AshevilleHumane.org. And speaking of the Asheville Humane Society, they sponsor many events throughout the year for you and your pet to partake in. One of them coming up is Yappy Hour. It will take place on Thursday, August 22nd at 5.30 p.m. at Zia Taqueria with the help of Mix 96.5. Drinks and appetizers will be served with a portion of the proceeds benefiting the Asheville Humane Society. Zia Taqueria is located at 521 Haywood Road. For more information, you can contact the Asheville Humane Society at 828-761-2001 or visit AshevilleHumane.org. And speaking of the Asheville Humane Society, they're partnering with the Buncombe County Department of Health and Human Services and the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office to bring you a low-cost rabies vaccination clinic. It will take place on Saturday, August 24th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Biltmore Square Mall in the old Garfield's Restaurant location. You can get everything from one and three years rabies vaccines, kennel cough vaccines, DAPP, and much more. You can also get your pet microchipped for the low cost of just $10. Only cash and checks are accepted. For more information, call 828-250-6430. Stay with us because coming up you'll hear all about the great library events coming up. Okay, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, Max? I'll be back. How long does it take for your pet to die from heat stroke? The temperature in your car can be 120 degrees in just 10 minutes. What an avoidable, senseless tragedy. No one whose pet has died thought it would ever happen to them. Do you really want to take a chance with your pet's life? A reminder from the Animal Coalition of Buncombe County. Now, Buncombe County has many great forms of alternative transportation. We have our art bus system, we have mountain mobility, and today we're joined by Hope Bleeker with the Land of Sky Regional Council, who's going to tell us all about the new ride program. Thank you for joining us, Hope. Great to be here, Max. So tell us, what is the ride program? Well, basically, the ride program is a subsidized transportation program. It's a same-day service that's offered to eligible riders of Buncombe County. Unlike existing paratransit programs that require riders to make advanced reservations for their trips, this program provides same-day service. The taxi voucher program is also operated by individual providers in Buncombe County, 
and it operates on Sunday, unlike other transit services in Buncombe County. So say I'm 65 or older and I want to use this program, what would I have to do? Like, what exactly does it entail? Well, basically, interested citizens should call the Landisky Regional Council. Uh, our phone number is 250-6750, extension 5, uh, which is also the Mountain Mobility Office of Administration. It's where we sign clients up for the Mountain Mobility Services. Uh, RIDE is a program that's offered in tandem with Mountain Mobility. And they should just call our office and we'll see if they qualify. Uh, generally the guidelines are fairly broad and anyone after they go through an eligibility process, which only takes a, a few minutes, uh, they can purchase the vouchers through our offices. They're sold, uh, they're $2.50 per voucher, and they're sold in books of four for $10, and also in books of 10 for $25. We work that process through the mail with interested participants, so once they qualify, it takes probably about a week uh, to get the, get the checks and or money order from anyone that wants to purchase a booklet and then we send them out through the mail and then they can start using the program. So basically you just call the number, you get the booklet in the mail about a week later and then you can start using it. And unlike the, the art program or the bus program and stuff that doesn't run on Sundays or that has limited hours, what are the hours of the ride program? Well, the hours are basically when the private providers are working. We have five transportation providers who are signed up for the program. And most of our clients will utilize this program anywhere from 6 in the morning until 11 p.m. at night. Some of the companies operate all night. Uh, if yeah, a someone lot of has... taxi cab services do run past midnight. Right, exactly. And so, it, it, to me, it really goes along with what, what Buncombe County was trying to achieve when they, found, when they funded this program and designed it, which is simply an extra measure of freedom for users who may not want to sign up for a ride a day in advance. What the ride program offers is same-day service, which is nice. Now, there's a little bit of advance notice that will be required a couple of hours or so. Uh, but basically, it affords uh, additional capacity on mountain mobility service, and it affords the users that extra element of freedom to not only travel on Sunday, like you said, uh, but also to schedule a ride the day that you want the service. They buy these vouchers for $2.50 for a cab ride. Normally, a cab ride doesn't cost $2.50. Uh, how is this being subsidized? Like, where's the money coming from for this? Well, basically, uh, it's a user subsidy program. So when participants buy the vouchers for $2.50, uh, Buncombe County pays an additional match of $2.50 for each particular trip that, we, that, is, that actually takes place. And then the county was successful a couple of years ago at receiving some federal grants for the balance of, of the cost of the program. Uh, so basically those are the funding sources. Okay, so it's starting now. When did this begin? Uh, it went into a test period in April. Uh, we did a soft rollout. We have about 40 clients now who are signed up with the program. Many of them love it and use it regularly. And this uh, quarter we're doing some additional advertising and we hope to bring even more clientele to the program. Great, so for only $2.50 you can get basically a cab ride anywhere you need in Buncombe County through, through certain providers. Yes, and I need to qualify that uh, what, what happens is the vouchers are worth a $10 face value. They pay the cost of a one-way ride. So typically a trip to the store and or a trip to the symphony, the movies, wherever you want to go, uh, basically is going to be the cost of a $10 voucher, which that user has already purchased for $2.50. Now, users should note that additional trips, because the program applies anywhere in Buncombe County, if you're a resident of Black Mountain, for example, and you want to go to the airport, that particular trip is going to run a little higher than $10, obviously. Uh, and then in that case, the user will pay the balance of that trip cost. Most of the trips that take place in and around Asheville are about the cost of that one voucher. Uh, for short trips, in the event that a participant orders uh, a short trip for one or two miles and the actual trip
trip cost is less than $10, the provider will take that one voucher and no change is offered. Uh, the cost of the trips, though, vary by user. We have several transportation providers uh, who are taxis and they are metered, so they operate just like any taxi. The advantage of that, though, is that um, the mileage and the rate is very predictable. You can talk to the provider in advance to see how much your trip costs if you know exactly where you're going. And also, because it's a metered taxi, uh, you can bring additional uh, family members or friends along. Uh, so I think that's afforded people a tremendous amount of freedom, and it's been a nice element. Great. And uh, is this handicap accessible, obviously, because... There are two providers who are working with us who are, are uh, providing trips through the RIDE program who do have uh, ramps and ability to take wheelchairs and or scooters. Okay. Well, this is a great new program. If you're interested, um, call the number. What's the number one more time? Two five zero six seven five zero and punch ex extension 5 at okay. Land of Sky. And uh, Land of Sky website has information on this for more information? Uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet? But it, we will. Okay, we will. But just call the number if you're interested. And thank you very much for joining us, Hope. Great to be here. The Red Cross has recently issued an emergency request for all blood types, especially O negative, A negative, and B negative. So if you haven't donated blood in a while, Buncombe County is sponsoring a blood drive right here at 200 College Street. Buncombe County is hosting the blood drive on Wednesday, August 14th from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the administrative building at 200 College Street, right across from the Buncombe County Courthouse. If you're interested in participating, contact Samantha Holcomb at 828- 230-6322 or go to redcrossblood.org today and schedule your appointment. Asheville Greenworks is a great nonprofit organization facilitating fundraising events to help keep Buncombe County greener. In the past they host river cleanups and recycling events and now they're hosting their first annual root ball. The root ball will take place on Thursday, August 15th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at their new location at the Boathouse at 318 Riverside Drive. Cost to attend is just $20 in advance or $25 at the door. This entry fee includes unlimited food and drinks, beer from Catawba Brewery, wine, and live music. In addition, there will be a raffle for fantastic items. For more information, please contact Rachel at 828-254-1776 or email rachel at ashevillegreenworks.org. The Council on Aging of Buncombe County hosts many Medicare classes throughout the year. These classes are accurate, unbiased, and they aren't selling anything, but they will save you money. The next class will take place on Tuesday, August 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Skyland South Buncombe Library. People new to Medicare, caregivers, and others who help senior citizens with their Medicare insurance should consider attending this informative class. For more information, contact John Wingerter at the Buncombe County Council on Aging at 828-277-8288 or email johnw at coabc.org. We're here at Pack Memorial Library to let you know about a great class they're hosting for teachers. This class is on reading slave deeds, which will be great for implementation on classroom discussions for grades 4 through 12. The workshop will take place on Monday, August 12th from 1 to 4 p.m. in the Lord Auditorium at Pack Memorial Library. There is no charge for this workshop. To register, email dmiles at unca.edu. For more information, please visit buncombecounty.org slash slave deeds. 
When people think of the Buncombe County Public Library System, they usually think of a quiet place to read and check out a book, but they offer many programs throughout the year for every age and interest, and here are a few coming up. On Tuesday, August 13th at 7 p.m., the Weaverville Library will host a traditional Appalachian music show with Bobby McMillan. NC Folk Heritage Award recipient McMillan will perform traditional Appalachian ballads along with local musician Rodney Sutton. Come on out and enjoy this free program of local songs collected since the 1960s. On Thursday, August 15th, 22nd and 29th at 6.30 p.m., the Swannanoa Library will help you build a quilt bag. For only $10, you'll get your own quilter's kit. You just have to bring your own sewing machine. Class size is limited, so sign up by calling or emailing the Swannanoa Library. On Tuesday, August 20th at 7 p.m., the Black Mountain Library will host their Mystery Book Club featuring the book The Name of the Rose by Umberton Echo. All interested readers are welcome to attend this or any of the county library's book clubs. And finally, Pack Memorial Library is hosting a Romance in Italy film series that will take place on every Tuesday in August in the Lord Auditorium at 3 p.m. The first movie will be A Little Romance. All cinephiles are welcome for this free showing. For a full list of library events, visit buncombecounty.org slash library. Now, the Buncombe County Public Library System's summer reading program, Dig Into Summer, is also winding up as the school year comes closer. This summer reading program is to help keep kids interested in reading during the summer schoolless months. And here are a few of the events coming up. On Thursday, August 8th at 10.30 a.m., kids can dig into music at the Black Mountain Library with various styles, stories, fun facts, and instruments. Also on Thursday, August 8th at 11 a.m., kids can dig into the earth at the Lester Library where you can make your own volcano. Watch it erupt at this fun event. And finally, on Wednesday, August 14th at 10.30 a.m., kids can dig into vegetables at the Black Mountain Library with Adelbert Farms. For a full list of your summer reading program events, visit buncombecounty.org library. And now it's time to keep an eye out for this week's Mountains Most Wanted. Buncombe County Crime Stoppers is a very important program that allows you, the citizens of Buncombe County, to partner with law enforcement to help keep our community safer. Your anonymous calls are very important tools in helping us locate people who are wanted by the authorities. I also want to personally thank you for making Crime Stoppers the most watched program on Buncombe County TV. Here are a few subjects we're looking for right now. Stephen Blaine Deaver IV is wanted for failure to register as a sex offender, and two counts of possession of drug paraphernalia. Deaver is a 39-year-old white male with brown hair and brown eyes. He is 5'3 and weighs 140 pounds. His last known address, 26 Nesmith Lane, Asheville, North Carolina. Roberto Andreas Perez is wanted for one count driving while impaired. Perez is a 35-year-old white male with black hair and brown eyes. He's 5 foot 4 and weighs 160 pounds. His last known address, 12 Walt Drive, Alexander, North Carolina. If you happen to know the location of any of the mountains most wanted, you could receive a cash reward. All you have to do is email Crime Stoppers at tips at buncombecounty.org or call 828 255-5050. With your help, we can continue to make Buncombe County a safer place to live, work, and play. Stay with us because coming up, if you're a first-time home buyer, you're going to hear some great information on how to save a lot of money.
I'm Sheriff Van Duncan of Buncombe County. And I'm Chief William Anderson of the Asheville Police Department. Do you know the first 24 hours are critical when your pet goes missing? If you haven't seen your pet in 24 hours, act now by notifying the Buncombe County Animal Shelter and all other surrounding shelters. Search the area you last saw your pet and alert friends, neighbors, local businesses, and veterinarians. By acting now, your pet will be home much sooner. Report your lost pet to 828-250-6430. Welcome back. Well, if you're a first time home buyer or if you're thinking of becoming one, now is a great time to do so. On Track WNC is pleased to announce the expansion of the Home Run Home Ownership Program for low income households. This program includes comprehensive financial housing education and counseling, plus an opportunity to participate to receive a $2 match for every $1 saved towards home ownership. Participants are eligible for up to $5,000 in match money towards home ownership. This matching is a grant, not a loan, so you never have to pay it back. Limited funding is available, so if you're interested, please contact OnTrack WNC today by calling 828-255-5166 and ask about the Home Run Program. For more information about OnTrack, please visit their website at ontrackwnc.org. The Buncombe County Parks, Greenways, and Recreation Department has moved locations. They're no longer at the Interchange Building at 59 Woodfin Place. Now they're located right here at Pack Memorial Library at 67 Haywood Street. This move is part of the merging of the Buncombe County Parks, Greenways, and Recreation Department and the Buncombe County Public Library System to become their own independent authority. You can still contact them at their usual phone number, 828-250-4260, and their website for now is still buncombecounty.org slash parks. Buncombe County has many great resources to keep you up to date with county-sponsored events and promotions, and we've made it easy for you to find them all. Just visit our website at buncombecounty.org, and they're right there on our homepage. You can see daily updates by liking our Facebook page, catch important county tweets on our Twitter, see all of our video uploads by subscribing to our YouTube page, our recent picture editions, which we update on Flickr. You can also check out our bulletin board on Pinterest. There are options to get your local weather, subscribe to our RSS feed, and even stay up to date with county crime mapping. And while you're at our website, make sure to check out all of our original programming by visiting buncombecounty.org bctv. Speaking of BCTV, we're not your typical government channel that just shows our board meetings. We have a wide variety of original programming on everything from exercise classes, cooking shows, upcoming news, and much more. Programs like Buncombe Life, where we'll join Kathy Hughes as we learn why we're so fortunate to live here in Buncombe County. Come out and play for a detailed list of all of our county's parks, greenways, and recreation department events. Coverage of recent county news and Buncombe news updates our many healthy life exercise classes for every activity level and age. You can also join Margaret in the kitchen for some healthy WIC approved recipes and cooking for your health. All of our mountains most wanted. Every Saturday morning now we have stories with friends and of course our board of commissioner regular meetings. If you'd like more information about any of our programs or if you would just like to send us some feedback, send an email to bctv at buncombecounty.org. If you haven't seen our Buncombe County publication, Buncombe Life, make sure to pick one up next time you're at the library or a county office. They are your number one source for county information. Thank you for watching and have a great week, Buncombe County.